Hey everybody! And in today's video, I am going to take you through my review of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 in just a moment. So here it is, the famous Z Flip 3, and this is how it looks, half open. And as soon as you close it, you can hear that click, that satisfying click. Ooh, I like it. So you can see already the design is amazing. It reminds me of the Game Boy Advance SPs back in the early 2000s. Beautiful design nice and compact another thing i want to mention to you guys is the hinge can scratch very easily as it's exposed especially if you've got the matte black version of the z flip 3. now there is ways you can get a screen protector maybe only for the top and the bottom of it not so much the middle because obviously you want to reduce anything getting jammed in the hinges. So be aware that it can scratch easily if you're not careful. So yes, if you're thinking of buying the device, here are some of the key features you might want to pay attention to. So like I said, the hinges are quite sturdy, but obviously you would want to reduce any debris or dust getting inside as this is not dust resistant so be aware of that guys and um, this looks so gorgeous you know the design the matte finish it just looks amazing when it's half up and obviously closing it you've got to be gentle try not to try not to open it with one hand so yeah, you've got your lovely cameras, you've got the lock screen and the volume keys reverse once flipped down. So that's another cool feature that Samsung have brought in is that the volume keys will indeed reverse. And you can see here that it's scratched a little bit um, so any keys in pockets just be aware of it so yeah but it's barely noticeable but you can still see a little bit that it was scratched on that corner and this case fits beautifully on it though and it's a clip-on one hardback leather casing so if you want it, I'm gonna leave links. So this is the clock I have on display to match the case. And you can also slide to the side, left or right, to get your timer. You can add another widget on. Um, you can press and hold. So now you can see, you can customize your widgets, which is really cool. So yeah, and you can even customize the clock. So there we go. You've got all your different clocks on display. Pick, choose and refuse. And yeah, so it's a lovely design. I love it. And here you've got your speakers there and there. You've got your type C charging port. And I think those are speakers too. So yeah, you've got all these things and you can see the strength of the hinge once it's flipped over, which looks very sturdy. Again, um, you know, the feature has really improved this year and I'm impressed. So people, if you're trying to unlock the screen, you cannot do that anymore using the actual screen itself. So what you need to do is from the side, as of all the Z Flip series now, is operative on the side for the fingerprint sensor. You touch gently on the fingerprint sensor to unlock it like that. And then to click off, press the button, 
and then lightly touch it again and it should work just fine. So as you can see, I'm going to press it again, see how quickly it unlocks and it's very fast to navigate through the phone. I personally love the display as it's more saturated. Some of you like the normal display. I prefer the vivid setting, um, which is really vibrant, very nice. And if you go into YouTube, I'll show you <laughs> my channel. And to play a video, I'll show you the split screen. So once it's folded, all you've got to do is touch on a video of your choice on YouTube and then it would display like this. Look how cool that looks. It looks like paper, like a scroll. So when you open up the video, it should have a split view where the all the other bits come below the screen. So you can still navigate through as you're watching the video selected. You can still choose what you want to watch next on the bottom part of the screen. So I find that totally amazing. And then when you flip back the screen, it becomes as normal as if you had a normal smartphone and then splits again down the bottom once you flip it halfway which I find is incredibly cool. As you can see, it looks like paper when you scroll up and down almost where it's folded up, where the hinge is pretty much in the middle. It looks really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to take selfies on the front camera. So you press the lock button twice, double click that and you can see the preview opens up with a little display. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> don't mind my crazy hairstyle. And as you can see, I'm filming on my ultra and I wave my hand in the air. Wait two seconds and it should take the picture. Yep, let's try that again with my case this time. Got to quickly hold it. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see, let's try some more. Yep, just to raise your hand in the air. You can do this as many times as you like. Go trigger happy. You know, you selfie lovers out there. Nice, finally got it. Right, so I'm gonna open up the phone and then I'm gonna show you. To exit out of camera mode on the front facing camera, just click the lock button, just click it. And then now I'm gonna open up the phone to show you what the pictures look like. And yeah, for picture quality purposes, so that's ones I took earlier and you can see the pictures look quite detailed. So it's pretty standard stuff. I quite like the selfie cameras, they're really cool. So another feature on the camera, once you click the camera button, you'll be able to open up the photo. You'll see a touchpad at the bottom of the screen so you can literally navigate your pictures as you look at them and then when you open it up again normal, it would center in the middle of the screen for the normal pictures. And might I say, it looks amazingly detailed. It's so good. Even when I zoom in, 
you can see that the detail on the basket is amazing and the shadowing of the floor everything it just looks really good now for some of you i know that if you've been using the z flip 3 and you've had it for like maybe a week coming up to two weeks maybe a month you'd notice that the battery life is a 3300 milliamp powered battery now if you guys are coming from an ultra which i'm recording on my ultra now if you're coming from an ultra like an s20 ultra or an s21 ultra then you would know that the battery life is totally different um i don't know if any of you would see a difference i personally saw a difference when using the phone so here are some of the ways you can expand your battery life on the z flip 3. if you swipe down in settings go to settings and press and hold the settings button then you search improve accuracy option it'll come up click that click that one and then you'll be able to see wi-fi scanning switch that off and bluetooth scanning switch that off too and then that's how you'll be able to reduce your battery usage another way to reduce the battery usage on the device is you slide down you click the power saving mode that reduces the battery life further so I want to share with you guys the Bluetooth connectivity so as soon as you open up your Galaxy Buds it should pick up straight away there we go so that was fairly quickly um, I am impressed with the Bluetooth connectivity so far and as you can see the speakers are immensely loud for this smartphone so yeah you can party on <laughs> um yeah so even if you block the speaker it's still pretty loud so tops to that for samsung for up in the sound i quite like it it's quite good even the top speaker too is amazing I want to talk you through the accessories just a quick moment so this is the back of the phone case when the z flip is open this is the packaging out of the ordinary brand it is fantastic it's got the lines to match the case which is cool the wireless charger you get now this one was really good it was under 20 pounds i recommend this one if you just want a standard kind of travel size one it's quite good to fit in bags and i'll take you through what the features are so you've got the 9 watt fast wireless charging the compatibility for the buds and the airpods and the led dimming mode yes and it's very thin and lightweight and you can take it anywhere so this is what it looks like out of the box and it's got an LED lighting and everything else. You've also got the compatibility sign there for the buds and the smartphone. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on the actual charger itself. It could also charge the watch as well. So if you're thinking of charging your watch that you purchase, then you can charge the watch also. So that's what it looks like when it's on display and on the actual charger itself. So it will notify you when it's charging as of normal Samsung smartphones, but it'll have the little ring around, but instead of the ring for like the ultras, it will have a square shape, rectangular shape. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. There you go, I'll show you again. That's what it looks like when the charger is there so this is what the matte black looks like when the case is off it's an amazing finish i love the matte black version and this is what it looks like when it's open too so you have the circle feature that it's charging just like the ultra phones and the other s series phones 
just any normal Samsung smartphone would have that now. So that is definitely a really cool feature that you have and nice accessories too. Okay, so with the battery, another thing I forgot to mention is the battery will adjust to your usage on the phone over time. So maybe after the second week, third week coming in of using the device, it will study your daily habits of your daily usage on screen time. So that's another thing um, to take note as well when you're using the device. Um, in case those of you who aren't keen on the battery size or the, the length of the battery during the day and you want to change the device, just know that over time it will indeed study your patterns of usage. Also, everyone, it's not advisable for you to peel off the screen protector because the glass is very fragile, the Gorilla Glass that they use on the Z Flips, they are extremely fragile. Um, they're a bit more durable um, as the models are made, as you now have the third Z Flip now, um, a, and opposed to the first model that's made. But, um, it's not advisable to take off the protective layer um, once using the phone because it could indeed shatter the glass. It has a more chance of shattering. So I want to talk you through the size and scale of the phone compared to the S21 Ultra case I have before me here. And it's very lovely. I love the design on this. So I'm thinking of getting this device too. So just in comparison, you can already see that this display is more narrow in the width and smaller in the length, just by a little bit, as it's a 6.7 inch display for the flip and for the Ultra, the S21 Ultra is 6.8 inches. Yep, so you can see compared with the speakers, if you put it together against each other and it's narrow, it's more easier and compact to hold. Purpose of the flip, of course. <laughs> and yep, and the best part is it's even more small when you flip it over. This device is also available, as you may all know, in 5G. I repeat, it is available in 5G, but however, it is not water resistant. I repeat, it's not water resistant, but it's fantastic all the same. The cases, the accessories, everything. So, there are some cute accessories for this device and some of them are pictured here for you to see if you guys have the phone and you're interested in buying any of these products right here all links are below so everyone that concludes my review on the z flip 3 and I am looking forward to seeing the new devices that are out in future. We, everyone knows that there will be the S22 series and range coming. Um, preferably, you know, maybe February. They're looking at to start it February. We don't know yet. Um, so yeah, we just got to wait and see what it has in store for us. So those are the features that I found was good, not so good, and also, you know, reliable as well, because obviously you need a phone that's reliable. Comment down below, guys, what you found good about it, what you didn't like about it. 
if you're excited to see the new S22 series, if you're thinking of getting the new S22 models, or if you're thinking of sticking with your Z Flip 3, do let me know down in the comments section. And I shall see you all in the next video.